Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we will be seeing how to use the Kling AI image to video elements feature to combine multiple images into a single composite video with amazing and unbelievable consistency. So let's get started. Some of the examples that I'm gonna be showing you are like this one. For example, we have these four images and when we put it through Kling elements, we can get a stunning video which combines all the different elements like you can see right here. Here's another example of, you know, just using a picture of a clothing item. So this is really amazing. So let's get started with some easy examples. Then we're going to move towards the uh, slightly more complex ones and we're going to learn what to do and what to avoid. As always, the link to download all the images that we will be using in this video is given in the description. So let's get started with the first example where we have two images. One is of this model that you can see and the second image is of this pink purse. So we're gonna upload both the images here and how you reach to this interface is you go over here to video generation and then make sure you're on image to video and then you are on elements. And then basically you can upload up to four images here. Later on, we'll also be seeing how this can even be modified more by using multi elements, but that part will come later in this video. But right now, since we have two images, we're gonna upload both these images right here. So let's do that. All right, so we've uploaded both the images and what I want here is this should, this should be like a product showcase shot where let's say she's walking towards the camera and she's holding this bag and the camera slightly zooms in uh, towards the bag. So all we need to do after we have uploaded the different images here is to just scroll down and then we just under this prompt section we just need to exactly describe how it is. So I've already got the prompt ready, let me just paste it here. So you can see the prompt is very simple. A female model is walking towards the camera. She's holding a pink purse in her left hand. As she walks closer to the camera, the camera zooms closer to the purse. So you don't need to be too descriptive. You don't need to describe what she's wearing and all these things. It doesn't have to be a very descriptive prompt because the image is already there for you. So you just need to, in a very simple way, write one line about the different images and then how they combine together. And finally, if you want some or deliberate changes in the camera movement, like I've done here, you can just mention that also. So very simple tool to use. Uh, you can either choose the standard plan or you can choose the professional uh, plan. Professional does give better results as I'm gonna be showing you. In fact, I'll be showing you uh, two variations where one in one of the videos I've used the standard one and in the other one I have used professional and you'll find out that there's a huge difference. So I'm going to select professional. It just consumes 15 more credits as opposed to the standard plan. I'm going to keep this at five seconds. The aspect ratio here is very important. So I want a taller video here. So I'm not going to be going for 16 is to nine. I'll be actually going for the opposite, which is nine by 16. And one variation or one output is enough for me. And then simply all I need to do is I just need to hit generate. So let's wait for the results here. All right, so we've got our result. It's all ready. And you can see if I just open this up, this looks really, really nice. Let's just start this right from, let's just pause this and then we're gonna start this. So you can see this, you can see as she walks closer to the camera, it's exactly doing that same thing. Of course, this is only five seconds, but you can go for a 10 second video also, you can extend it even more. But what I like about this is the consistency because uh, if you look at, you know, the model also and the image of the purse also, it really, really maintains those features very, very well. And a side advantage of this is that there are a lot of software when it comes to images about, let's say, clothes swapping or doing a composite image like this. If those are not working for you, this usually works and you can just take a screenshot of the video. Another advantage of that is because it's a video, you can take multiple screenshots and you'll get different compositions of that particular product placement also. So not only do you get a video, you can actually use this for an image also. Of course, if you do this, it's gonna be slightly low resolution if you take a screenshot, but then you can use any AI upscaler out there to get a high resolution version of the image also. Let's see one more simple example like this one. All right, so this time we've got these two images of this man as well as this jacket. And we, what we want is again, a sort of a product showcase where let's say this guy is walking and he's just showing off his jacket. So first of all, let us let me upload these images here. All right, so we've uploaded the images. Now here's one very important point that you need to remember, especially when it comes to clothes swapping, which is that 
If you have an image like this where you can already see his existing clothes, and obviously you don't want that in your main video, then what you need to do here is once you've uploaded the image, either you can do this before also, or you can do it after also, you need to just crop it till the time you can only see his face. If you don't do that, and if he's already wearing some clothes in the final video, there can be an instance where you get a combination of this, for example, this jacket and the white t-shirt that he's wearing, and that's not gonna be ideal. So just crop it down to his face. So let's say when I uploaded this image, it was like this and I forgot to crop it, but I can also do it after I have uploaded this image because here, if I hover over it, you have the edit button. So I can do this. It's just gonna open up this new window. And here, I can just uh, crop this down till the time we can only see his face. If just a bit of it is seen, that's fine. It doesn't really impact it that much, but get it as close as possible. And we can now hit uh, confirm. And for this particular example, I've already done it before. So I'm just gonna show you the prompt and the result directly. So the prompt that I used was an Asian male model is wearing a jacket and walking in a field. Very, very simple prompt. And here's the best part. This was actually on the standard mode, which only consumed 20 credits. And still, even on the standard mode, just see the result here. This is absolutely amazing. I mean, just look at the consistency when it comes to the face and the design on the jacket. That is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Again, you can take screenshots of this and use it as images also. Now, I did also do exactly the same thing. Only thing was I changed it to the professional mode here. Let's see that result also. All right, so this is the result on the professional mode here. Definitely the quality slightly looks much better. But in this particular example, there was not too much of a difference between standard and professional. However, in the next example, there was a big, big difference. So let's go to this example where we are gonna really push the limits because this time we have three images like you can see in front of you and let's see how this worked out. All right, so again, I wanted this to be a product showcase shot where this woman is displaying this perfume which is kept on this uh, nice looking table. And the first time when I was using the standard mode, this was the prompt I used. A woman in a perfume shop is showcasing a small luxurious perfume bottle which is kept on a table. The shot starts with the wide angle but then slowly zooms uh, in close to the perfume bottle. Now this was on the standard mode and it did struggle with it. So just see this video. So can you see we have that extra hand which is usually a pretty big, uh, pretty common problem with AI. So this obviously didn't look good. However, the consistency was still great. So I was not too disappointed with it. Then what I did was I basically started uh, to use the professional mode. The prompt was exactly the same. And this time the result looked really, really stunning. So let's just play this. And I really, really liked it. But I did create more variations of this also. This next variation using the same prompt on the professional mode, uh, professional mode was perhaps my favorite. So let's just open this up. Let's start it right from scratch. And this was just absolutely amazing. Consistency was great, but more importantly, it just looked so real. It looked like a proper real video without any of that AI look at all. We are soon also gonna be seeing that let's say right now this wall behind her looks a bit empty. What if we wanna add something like a painting behind her? Now we could have done it right here also, but one of the problems in using four images, what I've seen is the more the number of elements you give it here, uh, it kind of can struggle sometimes with the uh, quality of the output. So I'll tell you an alternative to that, which is we can use multi elements to edit an existing video that we have got. But before, we, before I show you that, let's see one more example of uh, using four images and then how the quality sometimes can suffer. So for this last example, we have these four images with us and we're again gonna use a prompt which combines all this and let's see the result. All right, so these were the four images and this was the prompt. A female model is wearing red heels. So that's where these two combined. A dog is sitting next to her on the couch. So right now it was empty, but I put this little dog here. There's a painting on the wall behind and you can straight away see it actually really combined it well, but it didn't, uh, the overall result, as you're gonna see, it's a 10 second video this time, uh, was not that great because there were some issues with it. The final part in the prompt was the camera starts with a wide angle, but then zooms in closely toward the red heels as the woman smiles and pats the dog. So first of all, clearly you can see when you, uh, when in the starting frame, the dog was not sitting on the couch, so it got that wrong. But let's just start this from, right from here. 
it did the job on the painting very well but then it put this heel suddenly so of course she was supposed to wear it she is wearing it but then there was this heel lying on the floor also that was not supposed to be the case this is slightly my fault also because I did mention that it has to zoom into the heel but then overall there were some issues like the dog not being there she was not really patting it uh, and overall I just was not happy with this result but honestly this is also a case of working on the prompt a bit more and definitely the results can be improved now what I want to do is if you want to add more things a better way what I found is to use less elements here get a quality video like we got with this one and then what we can do is we can actually go over to multi elements and this is a very simple feature to use hey we can upload a video that we've already got so we were happy with this particular video and now let's say I want to add that particular painting behind on the wall this I found results in much better looking videos and it works more flawlessly so what we're going to do here is since we already have this video we don't need to even upload it because it's there in our Kling library so what we can do is we can just hit this history tab and we can select uh, this particular one which is this video and then we're going to upload that painting image here also so let's again we can go over to history or rather it's not going to show here let's just upload the image right here and now what we're going to do is we're just going to scroll up we get three options either we can delete something from the existing video we can add something to it or we can swap inside it here we want to keep everything same but we are adding a painting behind us so we're going to select the add option and once you do that here you can actually add up to two things uh we have already uploaded this one and then once you come down onto the prompt it already gives you a default prompt which is using the context of that original video seamlessly add like X which we are going to change from this image so what we can do is so we can just type in add a painting or add the painting from this and which is behind or rather which is on the wall behind the woman so just again giving it more uh, context here and then you just simply uh, basically hit generate I've already done this so if I go right on top here you can see the results here so let me just show you the prompt again using the context of the video seamlessly add the painting from this on the wall behind the woman and the results were absolutely fantastic just see the painting behind this is 100% a consistent replacement and again it didn't take away from the quality that the original video had because that was something I was doubting but I think it just maintained everything really really well and even if you notice small things like this just see how her hands look through this uh, liquid that's very real like uh, you know that distortion that is seen here I mean it is just amazing I don't think we've ever seen anything like this before so the sky is the limit here I do intend to create more videos with more use cases of this particular feature so in case this video helped you out make sure you give it a like and if you want to follow along such experiments with the different AI image and video editing tools out there then make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.